This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo 100S Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo 100S Chromebook. Before we start, we want to make sure that the laptop is completely powered off. And the way you do that with Chromebooks is make sure that there's no light on the power button. And if the laptop is turned on, you do a long press of the power button and the laptop turns off. Uh, next thing is to make sure we're working on the light right laptop. And we need to see where the model number is. Uh, for this model, it's easy. On the lower right hand side of the bezel, it says 100S. And also there's a label on the palm, palm rest that says the same thing. Okay, next we're going to show you the tools we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the screwdriver size. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a point and end and that's to lift off adhesive tape and for prying sometimes. And we have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate screws that may be stuck for, and also for prying things open and finally we have a metal spudger and that's also used for prying things open. Okay the first order of business for this is to remove the screen bezel that's the plastic frame that goes around the screen and it's not held down by any screws so we just snap the screen bezel off. We put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And like this we go all the way around the screen. If he gets stuck at a certain point, just go back to that part later. And we're getting stuck at the top so we're gonna come back to the top later. So we go around the other side and find a good grip and gently snap off the bezel. And like this, we come back to the top and snap off the bezel. On the bottom, it comes off relatively easily, so you can put the bezel out and put it to the side. Now let's take a look at the screen assembly. The screen is mounted by metal tabs on each side of the screen, so there's four screws we need to remove. Two on top and two on the bottom. And we use our screwdriver to remove these screws. Now, uh, the thing about these screws is that they're a bit smaller, so when you start on the screw, make sure you use some force or pressure on the screwdriver so you don't strip the screw, so you get the screw going. And keep up the force or pressure as, you, as you're unscrewing each screw. So, like this, we remove all four screws. And when doing this, make sure that the lid is tilted back a little bit, so once we remove all four screws, the screen doesn't just fall forward on us. And same at the bottom. That's three. And four. Okay, once we do that, we gently grab the screen by the metal tabs and put it down on the keyboard. When you do this, make sure to avoid the power button so we don't accidentally turn the laptop on. Okay, to remove the screen from the screen assembly, we have to remove this connector. And it's held down by some adhesive tape. So what we want to do is use the hobby knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape. Just so we can, enough for us to grip it like this and pull the adhesive tape backward until the connector is exposed. We then grab the connector by the back and pull the connector out until it's disengaged. Before we go any further I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in. You slide the connector back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. Okay, and let's Let's get a close-up. Okay, pause the video right here. This is uh, what a properly connected connector should look like. 
There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, and then let's pull out the connector again and take a look at the screen. Okay, this is a 11.6 inch EDP standard resolution screen and this screen is commonly available and this particular one has a matte finish. The part number that you're looking for is N116BGE-EA2. So that's the part number you look up. And uh, we as screen surgeons also sell this screen and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes for free with every screen that that we ship and also we have a two-year warranty on the screen free email technical support and free priority mail shipping in the continental united states if you live outside the united states we accept orders from most countries around the world just follow the regular checkout procedure and select your country to purchase this screen from us from screen surgeons go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you, guide you to buy the right screen online. Also, um, these Chromebooks are used in school districts a lot and we work closely with many school districts around the country and around the world and we have we offer volume discounts for these screens and additional support and we also accept purchase orders from school districts. Okay. Uh, once you have your new screen, make sure the connector is in, your, in the right place and the mounting tabs are like the old screen. Connect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen inside the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panimritkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.